Hello everybody, Bobby Hogan here, welcome you to, to 2014, a new year, a new you, and I'm excited to bring you this video to talk a little bit about our challenge that we're going to have starting Monday, January 6th. Now the official start date is Monday, January 6th, but I would highly encourage that you get out sometime tomorrow, Friday, or Saturday and begin some of your shopping, and in fact start doing some of your cooking come Saturday and Sunday. That way this won't seem overtasking for you for next week. I kind of want to talk about some of the ingredients that we'll be using today, such as liquid uh, amino brag, which is kind of like a soy sauce. Another one that we'll be talking about is uh, nutritional yeast. And then some things that might be hard to find, uh, such as unsweetened coconut. Wow, that doesn't really come in very well, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, some of these things might be difficult to find. Um, I know in Nebraska we lived really close to something called High V, which would be like a Publix here that carried a lot of the organic and some of the whole item foods that would be really hard to find in stores such as Walmart, uh, here in Gulf Breeze, such as in Winn Dixie and other stores. Uh, so some of us that live here might actually, here in Gulf Breeze and Navarre, might actually have to wander over to Pensacola. I'm not too familiar with Fort Walton Beach yet. But you might have to go to places like Everman's, or I know there's a Whole Foods area uh, store over by the mall uh, in, in Pensacola. Now, some of you might ask, well, I have soy sauce. Why do I have to go get this liquid amino brags? Well, I just want to go over you. It's, it, it's, all, it's, it's about sodium and what's actually in it. So when you look at the main big brand of soy sauce, Kiko Man, they actually have some ingredients that might cause some of you problems. So if some of you are gluten intolerant or if you have celiac disease where some of these items like wheat, I know Kiko Man has wheat in their, in their soy sauce, that might cause you some, some problems. If you look, when you, when you purchase this, this liquid aminos, I would look in the back of it and this is where being a label reader is so important when it comes to when you, when you purchase food. For example, if you go look in the back of Kingleman's soy sauce and you read the per serving sodium, it's 920 milligrams of sodium where you pretty much want to limit yourself between max 3,000 milligrams a day um, and I would say you know, 1,500 milligrams to 2,000 honestly really for sodium intake is what you really, really need. And if you look in the back of this nutritional facts here, for a half teaspoon, now normally a serving of soy sauce is a full teaspoon, but we'll say, uh, we'll, we'll double it in this instance. For example, here in the back is a sodium, 160 milligrams, so if we multiply that times two, public man, carry the one, blah, 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 320 milligrams for one teaspoon, compared to Kinko Man's where it's 920. So you're cutting 600 milligrams of sodium right there from your daily intake. And there's only one ingredient in this liquid amino brags which is actually from the soybean itself. Now another item you'll be using a lot is this nutritional yeast. Um, some of you who like to use butter, that's t uh, this is something that I really really would love you to try. It's almost, I put a little bit on my finger here, it's a flake, okay? And if if you use this, people, are, people like to say, well, why do you use this? Well, it's one way to kick the butter habit because this nutritional yeast, when you add it to like popcorn and vegetables, it tastes just like butter. Not only does it just taste like butter, but let me tell you some of the vitamins and nutrients that's inside of it. So nutritional yeast, it has fiber in it. Uh, if you do a per serving, which is roughly a tablespoon, uh, you have four grams of fiber. There's actually protein in it, so you've got eight grams of protein and it has different vitamin B's. It has vitamin B1, 2, 3, 6, and 12. It has anywhere from 130% of your daily value intake all the way to 640% of your daily value intake. So these things are packed with these super foods, nutrients, vitamins that your body needs every single day to, to clean itself and to get that clean energy that it needs. Some of the, like in our, oh, 